it's Erin. Let's hit some abs today. We're gonna do something a little bit different. These are gliding discs. If you don't have these, don't worry. You can always use a paper plate on carpet or you can use towel on hardwood floor. Either one of those options work perfectly. You may or may not know this, but we typically will film the workouts and then the day after I'll come back and do the intro and outro. And my abs are so sore. So it's definitely an effective workout, something that will help you break through plateaus and it'll give you a little bit of variety. So without further ado, let's go work on that six pack. Our first exercise is a reverse plank pull through. You'll place your heels on the gliding discs. You'll prop yourself up as you would in a reverse plank. Hands should be a little bit wider than shoulder width, and this will allow you to pull your body between your arms, pull your body through, and keep your legs straight throughout the exercise. Use your core to pull your lower body through your arms. So really focus on crunching as you pull your lower body towards your upper body and then through. As you get into that reverse plank position, you can tuck your chin. Make sure you get that full reverse plank and try to focus on using just your core. Next exercise is hand slide outs. This one should look familiar. This is very similar to an ab wheel exercise. And for this exercise, you wanna think about not only, of course, keeping your core tight, but having a slight round to the upper back. This is gonna help really engage those abs. It's gonna help you use your abs versus using your lats. Another thing that will help use your abs is not extending your arms all the way out. So leaving a slight bend in the elbow will help with just using your abs. And really focus on keeping that back nice and flat and focus on mind muscle connection using just your core to get your upper body back to starting position. These are gonna be a little bit less than shoulder width, and you can definitely use a towel for this one. Good. Next exercise is a pike. This is another tough one. And here, like the reverse plank pull through, you wanna think about keeping your legs nice and straight and using just your core to get your feet to your hands. And as you do, you wanna think about crunching those abs. So you wanna have a, again, a little bit of a roundness to the upper back. It's gonna help you engage those abs. And make sure when you come out of the pike that you get into full plank position and that you don't allow your hips to sag below full plank position. This will not only keep your abs engaged, but this will prevent you from having any lower back tweaks. Hands are gonna be about shoulder width apart, feet together. Next exercise is mountain climbers. You'll place your toes on the gliding disc, get into high plank position, and alternate driving those knees forward. Hands are gonna be wider than shoulder width apart. and really focus on keeping that plank position and a little bit of a roundness to the upper back. And you can go as fast as this or you can go nice and slow. Next exercise is a plank jack. So again, in high plank position, you're going to place your toes on the gliding disc and similar to a jumping jack, you're just going to extend your legs outward, legs stay nice and straight, hips stay in line with the shoulders, so you wanna make maintain that plank position. You're also gonna work your abductors here, so it's another nice little benefit. 
and focus on keeping those legs nice and straight, making sure you're performing the exercise evenly on both sides. The last exercise is a knee up. So again, we're going to be in that high plank position, toes on the gliding discs, hands shoulder width apart, you can lock those elbows out if you'd like, and you're just going to drive both knees up to your chest and then extend them back. And as you drive your knees to your chest, think about crunching. So you wanna think about a little bit of a round to the back and a nice solid contraction each time you pull those knees up. And really focus, it's the last exercise. Maintain that proper form, keep those hips up. As far as sets and reps go, you can do one to two sets of 10 to 15 reps. I would start on the lower side and work your way up from there. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and joining the Fit Fam. And if you try this workout and you love it, please tag me on social media. I really enjoy seeing you take the workouts and make them your own. That's it for this time. Until next time, train hard, y'all.